Hello and welcome, Paul here. Welcome to my world. And I'm currently working on this ruins project. It's... well, we're working on the nether for the ruins project. And we started to build a bridge going across. Now, I've had a little bit of an idea, and this was thanks to playing... or I should say I was inspired by uh, my last survival games video I did where in it, which you may have noticed, there's a bridge which is all broken up and upon closer inspection the detail on it is pretty nice because it's a mix of cobblestone and uh, stone bricks so I think I'm going to try that because that's going to save me on all these stone, using all the stone bricks so I need to, I need to start mixing in cobblestone so that's what I'm going to do uh, before I do anything else, I want to add a few more I'm tempted to bring this jungle over to here so I found this and I'm not quite sure what, what uh, sapling it is. I'm assuming it's jungle one, so I figured well let's test it. So I've placed it down. Now I believe for a mega tree you need to have like blocks all around it just in case. There we go. Okay, it looks like a standard tree. Okay, well all my excitement has just fizzled out there. We'll leave that lone tree for the moment. Moving on. Get away from all this disappointment. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so I need to go fix that because, like a noob, I accidentally clicked Force Update and it's messed up my textures. So bear with me. There we go, splendid. It's all fixed. Fantastic. So, what I need to do is get a rough design for this bridge down and it may mean I need to uh, remove all of this brick we'll find out what is that? Um, it looks like a torch underwater. Oh, it's just my eyes playing tricks on me. I don't see anything down there. That was weird. So, I need to work out a design for this bridge. And I will make it all ruined later, but first, for now. I mean, I could do that this all the way along but yeah I didn't want to do that now, this looks kind of plain but I might need to add something else on top here. I could always add stone slabs, I mean that's why I brought them along. Like I like that all the way along. That looks kind of kind of nice. Okay. I'll have to pick them up later. For now, I'm going to go ahead and get all the cobblestone down because I've got plenty of that. It looks a bit weird when it's trimmed back, but I'll work something out. Okay. I think I've got to do this a slow way. Yeah, 
Ah, I've got to remove all that bugger. I forgot I did that. I mean, I probably should make this all broken up as I go, but... Either way, even if I destroy it afterwards, I still have to drop down to add in some detail down below so I can pick up all the, the blocks I uh, leave behind. So that's all good. There we go. Yikes. Again, for anyone, um, while well, I'm on the topic of uh, the survival games, if anyone would like to play when I'm uh, in a server, just go ahead and check out check out my uh, Twitter because I normally post the IP there. So, so if you happen to see it, then you know, come join me and just just let me know that you've. Uh, followed from my Twitter and then that way we can team up otherwise I don't know because I mean if I don't know who it is basically if you're just a random person on the server you know I tend to play solo because I don't know if I can trust them but if you're joining me from Twitter then yeah you know I'll trust you guys just don't kill me <laughs> at least not until the end um, another thing I want to point out is because YouTube is somewhat buggy in terms of people you're subscribed to and seeing the videos you don't always get the uh, latest video sent to you because you know YouTube likes to mess up mess around and break stuff so I've started a Facebook page so if anyone wants to uh, I want to say follow but I guess it's like on there if anyone wants to like so you're sort of su subscribed then by all means go ahead. The link is in uh, the description of this video and basically if you do that every time I put up a new video I will post it there so if you use Facebook a lot then you'll easily be able to see that I've released a new video. Mostly just for your, your guys convenience. I mean I'm not too much of a fan of Facebook but uh, if it makes life easier for everyone well that's cool. That's fine with me. Okay. Finally made it, now I need to get rid of all this. So, I guess they released a new snapshot and I haven't really looked into it. Uh, well, I've seen a few things that have been added, such as the uh, uh, testificate, or whatever you call them, the villagers, uh, you can now trade with them. And what else was there? I believe there's a new upset. Well, I don't want to ruin it just in case no one's seen it. So if you haven't actually looked in, then if you haven't actually looked at it and don't want spoilers, then cover your ears now and count to uh, 30. But if you've already covered your ears, you're not going to hear that. So anyway, they've added uh, obsidian chests, which basically act as like a portal. Um, like if you put gear in there you can access it from anywhere in the world like if you have another chest of course so you could have a chest say at my home base and then another chest down in Miner's Haven if I put an item in there it's going to show up in either of them so I could go ahead and put items here and take them out of Miner's Haven that is a really incredible uh, feature although while I do love that idea I have a feeling that's going to make the game a little too easy because I mean it's very convenient but then what's the point of having that uh, minecart with the chest on it if you can just make an obsidian chest and you know what I mean it, 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 at least that's my feelings on it I could be completely wrong which I normally am so but uh, I think it's gonna make it a little too easy but not to worry although I do like the idea that in some cases it is very cool because let's imagine I have an obsidian chest down by my farm for the wheat and food and I'm either in Miner's Haven or somewhere far away working and all of a sudden I'm out of food and need to make some. 
you know, rather than just having to transfer all my food everywhere, and uh, you know, I could just instantly just reach into the chest and pull out a bunch of wheat and make some bread. That is cool. I do like that, but again, it's going to stop me from visiting certain areas because I just don't need to anymore. At least that's my feeling on it. I don't know. What do you lot think? Do you think it's going to make the game a little too easy, or do you think it's uh, a balanced feature? I mean, you still need to get a, an Enderman Eye and Obsidian, but that's not too hard. Okay. Let's go ahead and keep doing doing this to see how it's going to look. Again, I'm going to have to break all this off later, so it's kind of silly me doing it, but... What you gonna do? This actually reminds me of the bridge in my original Paula's World. Which I did to my uh, Bastion Project Station. Not sure why. Okay, we'll just go ahead and I'm going to have to destroy that unless I can get to it from below. I might be able to get to it from below. Let's have a look. Yes, that will, yeah, that will do. Sorted. I might come below and add some stuff there. I'm not sure yet. I do want to have like uh, uh, support. So I'm tempted to do it similar to how I did that great bridge and uh, my original pool as well, but I'm not sure yet. Uh, there we go. It's looking pretty. This is working well. Okay. Oh, that's right. I still need to clear this, but I can go ahead, go ahead and add this side. That basically means we'll be able to get this bridge done. drop them. I'm kind of curious when, well in fact before I go on to that, so apparently you can trade with NPCs now, at least in the new snapshots. I'm just kind of curious though. I wonder what you can trade for, because I haven't really looked into it. I believe it's gear, but uh, don't quote me on that. I'm just kind of bummed that uh, the villages that I had near me are sort of gone. Which is a shame. Wow, why did that take so long? There we go. I must have been caught on the ladder or something. Or the vine. There we go. Lovely. Oh no, oh no. We still got a pick. I mean, I do have my diamond pick, but I'm just saving it. But you know what's going to happen? I'm going to end up falling in lava at some point and losing it. Because that's just how it goes. There we go. 
Got all of our resources back. Might have been a few more here, yep. And what I'm going to do once I've got the, uh, basically the, uh, the, the path of this done, I'll go back and I'll start um, breaking it up, but I'm also going to put vines on it and such, and we're going to make it blend in. And hopefully, yep, yeah, this should look pretty good. Oh, wait, there it is. <laughs> it was hidden from me. Okay, so now I just need to fill this in, so I'm going to go ahead and get that done, and I'll show you what I've got once it's finished. Okay, so... I've managed to uh, finish the bridge, almost. I'm just wondering if I should, what I should do here. Now, I kind of want to leave this in, just because it looks pretty cool to have the sort of tree sort of fitting in here. Although, I'm just wondering if I should... Uh, I didn't want to drop that. If I should sort of make it look like it's broken around it. Like that. Not sure. And I'll add a couple of blocks down below. So, I mean, what with that broke, say, that's around here. Another one, right? It's died there, you're not really going to see it, but at least we know it's down there. <laughs> Can I get back up? Probably not. The other neat feature of this is it actually, if you, depending where you are in the jungle, it casts a shadow, so it kind of darkens the area up. This is definitely going to look cool once I get some sort of uh, support underneath it. Just having that cut through the jungle, I mean, if you were traveling through the jungle and you happen to see it, then that's going to be a pretty, pretty cool sight. I need to fix that entrance down there. Never know when I might need to use it. There's a lot I need to do. <laughs> what I need to do at the moment is make sure I've got make sure I've got stone cooking. I always need it cooking. Uh, I've run out again. I'm gonna have to go grab some more. Let's go to make it daylight. Okay, so I went ahead and uh, I went ahead and made a uh, some more sm uh, slabs so I can get them put down. I'm just looking here. I'm wondering. This does look kind of like the entrance to a crypt. Should I add in some like gravestones and whatnot up here? Because I'm just trying to sort of make it look like ruins, but that kind of stands out. The only way I can make it work is if I blend it in. I don't know. It might work, it may not. I don't know. So let's get back this end. Keep putting these down. There we go. Kind of tricky to aim it. I probably need to add a couple of these down below as well. There we go. There we go. It's looking very nice. At least in my opinion it is. And shall I just finish it up this side too? Then what we can do next... 
I mean, I'll work on the bridge supports another time, but next uh, video I'm going to try and start working on this never room a little bit more. If any luck, it should look pretty cool by the time we're done. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Remember to check my remember to check the description of the video for Facebook and Twitter links for Hunger Games. Thank you for watching. Catch you next time.